The key aspects of managing any wound is actually making sure that you look at the individual. It's not a wound in isolation, a wound's attached to a person. And it's looking at what matters for that patient. And I think that's quite often where clinicians go wrong. They get so focused on the wound that they miss the impact of that wound on a patient. It's a day-to-day -day scenario for us, if you like, to manage wounds. But for patients, it's a one-off event. Um, it's a new thing for them. And it's exploring with them, really, what are the key issues. So, for example, um, I went to an elderly lady, a 91-year-old, with a fungating breast tumour. She lived in a rest home, and while she obviously had her own room, one of the key aspects really is for them to socialise at lunchtime and join in activities. One of the things that the carers mentioned to me was that she started to become isolated. She was refusing to come out of her room, go down for her lunch, and she had really all the hallmarks of someone who was quite low and depressed. She sat with her head down, not engaging with people, as she had previously. I think she'd previously been quite an outgoing individual. But one of the things, if you have um, a fungating breast lesion, is it being so close to your nose, obviously smell is a big, big issue. And the exudate, um, just because you're 91 doesn't mean that you still don't take pride in your appearance. And it was very obvious the way she was dressed that it was important to her. So if the strike through and it was through her cardigan, she didn't want to go down and sit with other people for them to question or to judge her in any way. So again, it was selection of a super absorbent to try and contain the exudate. Um, showing her the product before I used it, I think is quite key to see whether she th thought she could manage uh, to live day to day. It's okay for us, we go in and we're in 20 minutes, but we leave a patient for many, many days with dressings in situ. So it's ensuring that you take time to select something that's right for them. Uh, and I think one of the delights for me was after a couple of weeks, she started to feel better. And I used to go of a lunchtime because she was in her room. But one day I went um, lunchtime and went straight to her room and she wasn't there. And that was great because she'd actually started to go back to having lunch with the others because she was no longer self-conscious about odour and exudate. So that was, you know, a great thing from a clinician's perspective.